Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I have a new phone from AT&T Prepaid. This is called the AT&T Radiant Core, and this is gonna be the first review online, guys. I checked everywhere, and I couldn't find anything. So basically, I went to Best Buy the other day, and this is the phone, guys. They're selling it for $39.99. It's a 16 gigabytes of storage, and I think it's a 5.5 inches. So let's check the specs, guys. Yeah, here it is. 1.5 gigahertz processor, so it's not that uh, fast. But it has an Android 9. I think this is an Android Go. We're gonna check it out, guys. This is what brought my attention. It says universal unlock. So I want to know if that's true or not, because being a prepaid phone, they're usually locked to AT&T. Okay, for GLTE, yeah, 5.5 touch screen. It doesn't specify the resolution, but we're gonna check that out also. Five megapixels camera. Hold on one second. The main camera, guys, is only five megapixels, and the selfie is two megapixels. So this is like 2014 specs. That's crazy. All right, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and you can expand the storage with a micro SD up to 64 gigs. So that's good. The battery is 2500 milliamps. Mm, not that great. All right, yeah, Go Edition. We can confirm that this is the Go Edition. VO LTE, that's good. So it's gonna be fast, 5.5. We can confirm the cameras, five and two. Processor model dual core? Wow, not even quad core? Guys, we are 2019. Everything is octa core, pretty much. LCD, and here's the result. Oh no, this is the recording resolution, but they are not giving us the resolution from the screen. We're gonna have to find that out. Bluetooth, and what else, guys? GSM, here are the frequencies. This is important, guys. You need to check in, in your country. 700, 850, 1700, 19, and 2300. One year warranty. And that's it. So let's open this guy. Let's see what's inside. Large 5.5 display with dragon tail glass for added protection. I don't know what that means. Five and two, up to 16 with a 64, 2500, Android Go. This is the phone and we're gonna open it right now. Yeah guys, I'm always checking for affordable phones. Let's see if they are worth it or not, especially in this era that everything is a thousand bucks or close to a thousand bucks. Okay, so let's see this phone, guys. Take that out. All right. So what's inside? It's gonna probably gonna be a, yeah, this is the battery, cable, charger cube, but this is probably gonna be a micro USB, yeah. Okay, so let's pop up the battery, 25 milliamps, so it's a decent battery, but nothing special. We're gonna put the battery right now, and you can see guys here, the model is the U304AA. This is the school, is it S993B, the IMEI number, so it's only one, made in China of course, it's only one SIM card. Oh, and look at this guys, already pop coming up with the AT&T SIM card, right? What we usually do is we take out that SIM card and we put our own from Metro. But let's first uh, set it up, okay? So the SIM card from AT&T is gonna be gone. I don't want to confuse it because I might need it or use it. All right. Oh, and this camera has a little protection here, a little plastic protection. Let's take it out. Yes. Okay, now it's good. So this one looks like a Samsung, guys, like a J3 or something, right? AT&T. The material, you know, you can feel it kind of cheap. Mm, what do you want for a phone that costs $40, right? Okay, so we're gonna take that out. And now, uh, let's turn it on right now. Let's see what's going on, guys. Powered by Andro Go Edition. So they are telling us that it's the Go Edition right off the bat. Guys, I do like this angle on the camera. It brings much more space. We're gonna set up the phone pretty fast. We need to oh, connect to a mobile network. If you have a SIM card, insert it now. I'm gonna skip it, and we're gonna connect to my Wi-Fi. Let's see, guys. Keyboard is pretty decent, 5.5. It's not that heavy. I mean, so far, so good, guys. No complaints so far. It takes so long, so we can check the phone right now. Yeah, you can see that the glass is kind of out. Microphone, micro SD. And this is volume up, volume down, power, another microphone, headphone jack. 
and here's the speaker so it's a back speaker at&t logo but yeah guys this little phone surprised me because of the price and because it says it's universal and lock so maybe these companies are changing their prepaid policy this is important guys a lot of people are telling me that they are using this app from at&t and it's the copy apps and data but in this case i'm just gonna skip it but in the next video probably i will do this just to see you know signing into google i'm just gonna skip it i'm gonna disable some of this stuff okay i'm gonna accept protect your phone not now skip anyway yeah actually i'm seeing this screen is reflective too guys that's a sign of a cheap screen okay and here we have it guys where is the oh here okay we're gonna check out the software update let's see if they have any updates checking for updates current software is up to date okay about the phone so again guys this is the u304 aa android version 9 okay and i'm gonna turn on the developer options which is this one 10 times boom now you're a developer okay so if i go back i can go to developer options and i can play around some stuff here how about the storage so this is the thing guys so they say it came with 16 gigs but the operating system is already using 3.72 gigs of the 16. But um, that's much better than I the iOS takes like 12 gigs, guys, on the iPhone 7. I want to know about the, the RAM. Let me see if I can search it for RAM. Memory, yeah. System developer option memory. Average A01 megabytes of 0.94 gigabytes memory use. So are you telling me that this phone only has one gig of memory, one gig of RAM? That would be crazy. So of course they don't show the memory guys because it's so ridiculous. You can confirm this guys. Total memory is 0 0.94 gigabytes. They never tell us about the screen resolution. So we're gonna have to do a print screen. Let's see how they do it. No, no, like, yeah, that's it. Print screen. You see how, guys, this is lagging a lot. Okay, this is a screenshot. I'm gonna click on the eye. And you can see here the resolution guys. 480 by 960 that's why they are not going to show us because it's not that good you know all right guys so this is the phone the at&t prepay radiant and what i'm going to do right now i mean it feels good it's okay 5.5 all right let me see where's my this is another 5.5 but you can see that um uh, yeah 5.5 but this is wider this is what i like about this iphone 7 guys I'm having problems adapting to the iPhone 11 because it's not wide enough. Like my hand is is used to this size, but um, you can see it here, both 5.5, but this one is much bigger. All right, so let's try with another SIM card and see if the phone is actually unlocked or not. So I have the Metro SIM card, Nano SIM card, and I'm gonna put it here. Good thing is I don't need to turn off the phone initially to put the, the SIM card. Some phones, you need to take out the battery in order to put the SIM card, not this one. So we're gonna put it here. Okay, let's see what happened. Oh, look at this. It says SIM inserted into locked phone. Would you like to check whether your phone is available to be unlocked? I'm gonna say yes. Oh, and now we have an app, huh? End user license agreement for AT&T unlocked device. By clicking accept, you acknowledge that you have read and agreed to the terms and service and privacy policy. So let's read it. Let's read it. What's the policy for unlocking? Okay, guys, so I was reading some of this stuff that is really in small letters, but basically it's saying that um, devices designated to use only on AT&T network may not function on other wireless network. Equipment is sold exclusively for use with AT&T prepaid service and may not be resold. By purchasing such equipment, you agree to activate and use it on AT&T prepaid service. You also agree that you will not make, nor will you assist others to make any modifications to the equipment or programming to enable the equipment to operate on any other system. AT&T may, at its sole and absolute discretion, modify the programming to enable the operation of the equipment on other systems. You understand and acknowledge that the equipment is sold solely for the use with AT&T prepaid services. Okay, guys, so I kind of understand this. So my question is why and this is not the first time that is happening. Why Best Buy mess up the description of the phone? Because here you can read it and it says universal unlock. 
and you can even say that you can use it with Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile. So how can they make this mistake? Best Buy, I'm calling you right now on this video, guys. Fix this description because people are going to get confused. All right, so now I'm going to have to return this phone because you can only use it with AT&T, I guess. That will conclude my review of the AT&T Radian, an affordable phone, $40 plus taxes. But let's see what happened with this. Got it. Okay. Shutter speed. Yes, blurry. Let's try it again. Another thing. That's this one. Okay. No, I mean, it's not even... Yeah, I mean, don't they know that the camera is a great... It's very important on the phone. Yeah, the camera is, is bad, guys. The camera, and this is the main camera. I don't even want to, to try the two megapixel selfie camera. So, okay, guys. So this is one of the phones that is just gonna, if you need a, in the meantime phone, this phone is for you. But uh, I don't think you're gonna go far with this phone. And also, of course, if you cannot afford anything else, yes, it's gonna solve your problems. Uh, Pine 9, that's good. Android Pine 9, but go the Go edition. So you have the Go apps, Gmail Go, Google Go, Maps Go, you know. And they do this in order to, yeah, exactly. This is a, the Go version is a compressed version of the operating system. So it can function on devices with low RAM and low specs like this phone. So every time you see Google or Android Go, you know that you know what you're getting into it, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your help. If you want to support my channel, guys, the best way to do it is if you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put uh, any comments, any questions you have. I'll gladly respond to them. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.